Hello, this is Mr. Tipton, and today we are learning the parts of a circle. Everybody knows what a circle is. Well, they can draw a circle. They can identify a circle from a list of, or from a, yeah, from a list of shapes. But do we actually know what a circle is? A circle is a two-dimensional figure with an infinite number of points that are the same distance from a single point called the center. So what that means is there's all these points. Let's see. Pin work. Oh, there, there it is. There's all these points out here on this circle. And they are all the same distance from a single point called the center all the same distance to point K. Circles are named by their center, so we would call this one Circle K. Let's move on. Talk about some other parts of a circle. Okay, we have Circle K here again. Um, circumference. Circumference is the distance around a circle. Okay. When we had Pi Day, we talked, uh, we introduced the idea of circumference and pi and stuff, which we will get to uh, here in a little bit. But circumference is the distance around. It's how far it is from here all the way around to here. It's kind of like perimeter. And I don't know what that was. It's kind of like perimeter, except perimeter is for polygons. Things that aren't curved, things that have straight sides. Circumference is for circles. Circum, right here, means go around. Around, 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 around. Circumference is the distance around a circle. More circle parts. We have chords and diameters. A chord is a line segment that has both endpoints on the circle. So if I put an endpoint here and call it A, and I put another one here and call it B, and if I connect those with a line segment, this is a chord. It's chord A. B. It's a line segment, so I've got the line segment written above the AB, but both endpoints are on the circle. That makes it a chord. Now a diameter is a special kind of chord that goes through the center. I'll put another point here, M, and another point down here, how about H? and I connect them with a line segment. This is a chord. It has both endpoints on the circle, but it's also a diameter because it goes through the center. AB does not go through the center. It's not a diameter. It's just a chord. Dia means through. A chord that goes through the center. Okay, so we have circumference, chord, diameter. Up next is radius. A radius. Two things make it a radius. It has one end point on the circle, like actually on the outside, the round, the circumference part. And the other end point is the center. So there are two radii in our figure. One of them is right here. M and K, or KM. Line segment KM. One endpoint, the M, is on the circle, and the other endpoint is the center. So what's the other radius in this picture? KH. One endpoint is on the circle, and the other endpoint is the center. Okay, so two radii 
that are opposite of each other are going to make up a diameter. If you have a diameter, you automatically have two radii. Radii is just plural of radius. Radii. Okay. And I think that's it. Yep, that's all we're going to cover today. Those are the parts of a circle that we'll need to find area and circumference and do some other stuff. If you have questions about the parts of a circle, write them down, and we'll see you soon.